It's beginning to look like Christmas in Nampa. I'm your Nampa neighborhood reporter, Keith Burrell, and the city's Christmas tree went up Monday, and it took most of the day. Several times we thought, this would make a great tree, a Christmas tree. 12,200 pounds, about 55 feet tall, and 50 years old. Jim and Susan Gramco have gone out on a limb and donated the tree they've known for over 30 years. After decades of holidays at their home, the Gramco's now adult daughter will finally get to see the tree live out its full potential. She grew up here all her growing up years. She always wanted to decorate this tree. We had no way of decorating that whole tree, but she did sneak bulbs from our tree out and put on it a few times. Napa's Christmas tree made the mile and a half journey across town Monday, people pining for views every step of the way. To the 10 foot deep tree stand in front of the Nampa train depot. Along the way, crews collecting fallen limbs and sprucing up with a street sweeper. Once the tree gets to this location and we lift the tree up off the trailer, oftentimes there's significant damage to one side of the tree that, lot, that was laying on the trailer. And that requires a lot of repair. But those repairs don't leave the team stumped. Keep going, a little more. With use of bailing wire, screws, and even some lag bolts, we're able to reconstruct the tree in a way that you would never even know that it was damaged in the first place. So a little bit better than duct tape and peanut butter. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. And Adam tells me that this is the 10th tree he's put up with the city, and this is the best looking one yet. The tree will be lit the Saturday after Thanksgiving. From Nampa, I'm your Nampa neighborhood reporter, Keith Burrell for Idaho News 6.